Hello everyone, in this video I will be discussing the calculation of uh, quartile in uh, continuous distribution. So uh, this is uh, the question right in front of me. I have uh, classes, probably these are the marks of students which are given. Then uh, so I have classes of marks, so the test has been taken or probably the students marks are distributed between 0 to 50. That means minimum marks are 0 and maximum a student can score is 50. And the frequency of marks is given in the next cell in which I have uh, 4 students scoring between 0 to 10, 12 students scoring between 10 to 20 and so on. And my objective is to calculate the quartile here. So I will be calculating two uh, points here like I will be calculating the first quartile which is Q1 and I will be calculating the second quartile that is Q2. So let us see what is the problem that means what goes here what is what is going to go in the first quartile box and what is going to go in the second quartile box so these are the two objectives in this particular problem okay uh, i know the second quartile is okay always equal to median so instead of q2 let's calculate q3 the third quartile so these are the two calculations which i am trying to make here so let's start with the procedure the first thing is you when you are calculating quartile median or any positional average the first thing you need to calculate is the cumulative frequency so let's start with the cumulative frequency the first frequency is 4 itself the second frequency is 12 plus 4 that becomes 16 the third frequency cumulative frequency is 22 plus 16 that becomes 38 then 38 plus 9 which gives me 47 and 47 plus 3 becomes 50 so uh, the last cumulative frequency is 50 a little cross verification you can total the frequencies that is also 50 so these two numbers are supposed to be same that's a little cross verification let's start for what is r here r is actually the number of quartiles so if i am calculating q1 that means first quartile r becomes equal to 1 if i am calculating q3 that means third quartile the r becomes equal to 3 let's first do the calculation for r is equal to 1 that means for q1 so in order to know q1 my first step is always to calculate r n by 4 why i am dividing it by 4 because quartile divides the data into four equal parts and what is capital n capital n is nothing but summation of f here so since i am calculating first quartile r becomes equal to 1 r becomes equal to 1 times 50 divided by 4 that is my value of r n by 4 in this case and that comes out to be 12.5 so this is multiplication right here 1 times 50 divided by 4 now I compare this obtained value with the cumulative frequency so if I look into the cumulative frequency I try to find the cumulative frequency which is exceeding this value I am saying exceeding not equal so 4 is less 16 is exceeding moment I find an exceeding value of cumulative frequency the corresponding class will become my quartile class so in this case this is my quartile class or first quartile class that means my quartile first quartile falls somewhere between 10 to 20 now let's do the calculation this is the formula for quartile if you can see it rth quartile can be calculated by l l is the lower limit of the quartile class so in this particular case l will become equal to uh, if you look into the quartile class here in this class the lower limit of quartile class is 10 rn by 4 i have just calculated it is 12.5 now what is this cf minus 1 this minus 1 is at suffix so it is just for the nomic nomenclature that means cumulative frequency of previous to quartile class so if i look into this question the quartile class is right here the previous to quartile class the cumulative frequency is 4 so cumulative frequency previous to quartile class is 4 now fm is frequency of okay i have written it wrong it is supposed to be fq that means frequency of quartile class so frequency of quartile class is 12 and the last is i that means the class interval which is 10 to 20 so the class interval here is 10 let's plug the values in the formula so q1 becomes 10 plus rn by 4 i have already calculated 12.5 minus cumulative frequency of previous to quartile class that makes it 4 divided by frequency of quartile class 12 times 10 and this gives me a calculation of 17.08 
so my first quartile is 17.08 now let's see what is the value of my third quartile that means q3 so uh, now in order to calculate q3 instead of calculating 1 times n by 4 the con uh, concept remains same i will be calculating 3 multiplied by n what is n 50 by 4 so i hope now you understand what is r r is the number of quartile which i am calculating since i am calculating third quartile so r becomes equal to 3 this gives me a value 37.5 that process remains same now i am going to compare 37.5 with my cumulative frequency class the exceeding class is this 4 is less 16 is less 38 is exceeding so this becomes my third quartile class again i will identify the values of l which is 20 in this case the lower limit of the quartile class then i identify the value of cumulative frequency of previous two quartile class which is 16 then frequency of quartile class which is uh, right here 22 and then of course the class width which is equal to 10 now i'll apply it in the formula the same formula the q3 okay let me close this with a line q3 now becomes lower limit of the class that means 20 plus rn by 4 i have already calculated 37.5 minus cumulative frequency previous to quartile class which is 16 right here divided by frequency of quartile class which is 22 times the class interval which is 10 and once i calculate it i get the value of q3 as 29.77 so in the box goes 29.77 now uh, let's see the diagrammatic representation of this fundamentally these could be the marks of all the students ranging between 0 to 50 my first quartile value is here second is here third is here the first quartile value if you see is 17.08 somewhere in between will come the second quartile and the third quartile value is 29.77 that means 25 percent nearly 25 percent of students because quartiles that divides the data into four equal parts so 25 percent uh, students how much is 25 percent of 50 is uh, around uh, 12.5 so around 13 students score above uh, these marks that means 29.77 marks and around 25 percent students that means around 13 students score below 17.08 marks so i leave the calculation of q2 on you exactly in the same pattern this is exactly to be found for exercise and uh, that value shall also be equal to median you can reverse refer the previous videos also so instead of uh, putting r is equal to 1 or 2 the only difference you will be putting is r is equal to 2 here and rest of the calculation remains same so try out the value of q2 thank you